Hello. Welcome to the Akas podcast, our premiere edition. Yay. Welcome, welcome. I hope that this blesses you. Um, this premiere edition is just to share um, some insight as to what has brought us here, how we became the Arcus and what it is that we hope to achieve with the podcasts. We are hoping that this would be short moments with which we could inspire a little bit more in-depth thought into our process, what it is that we're doing and why we're doing it. Um, and it is focused on the spiritual side of our lives because we have come to that understanding and belief and promoting that all of life is integrated. If one part suffers, every part suffers. You can't take your toe to the hospital and leave it there. So without much ado, we're going to be sharing a short video and, and like an informational, but we're going to be reading out, you know, speaking on specifically the topic of our community and healing the child within. Sit back, relax, and let's just have a, a brief five to six minutes of your time. And then let's share some of our experiences and hopefully we'll have you um, hitting us up in the comment box and letting us know what your own experiences have been. Because as much as we're letting you in on ours, for your edification and for our um, learning as well, we'd like to hear from you because we're here to learn from each other. Um, so here we go. As we know, this quarter is the freedom to receive and that's what we are hoping that we could um, instill in one another. Healing the child in you is the topic and we are hoping that in this process as we've come to a place of creating an enabling environment for each other to expose those things and places that have held us bound we've come to this belief and the statement by dr peter levine that says that trauma is not what happens to us but what we hold inside in the absence of an empathic witness this is so true. Anything you hide, you will not, it will never heal. You need to open it up, give it airtime in the right environment. Because I know that a lot of the time we've been, hmm, shall I say, vulnerable with some people and they have not handled our vulnerability properly and we have locked it away somewhere and those knots need to be undone. For us, community is the commitment to carry others through their periods of darkness as they help us carry us through ours as well. So it's symbiotic. It's not a Me Too movement, but it's recovery by choice. And this is an avenue where we can get that done. So don't forget to check us out. In the process of starting Arcus, it's where the questions that we asked ourselves, and I'm asking you, do you understand what you're reading when you read? Acts chapter 8 verse 31 tells us of a centurion who responded, how can I? He said, unless someone explains it to me. And so he invited Philip, which was a disciple, into his caravan and he had to explain to him what he was reading. There are people that God has put ahead of us who have gone ahead of us, who have had experiences that we can tell by their fruit that yes, they've got something to teach us that resonates with the trajectories of our own journeys and in that space it's important that we seek understanding for application in order to know what it is that you have found as a response you first have to know what you're looking for john 5 39 jesus was talking to the um Pharisees and he said to them that they keep studying the scriptures diligently because they think that they will find eternal life in it. But he, Jesus, is the eternal life, the truth, the way, and the light. And they couldn't recognize him. Where are we missing him today? As we're studying the word, we're reading the Bible. We didn't write it. We don't even speak the language in which it was written. 
how about looking out for the right sources of information that can open us up and open our eyes to see what the word and the scripture really means when it says certain things we need to understand or else we're going to be stuck looking at stuff and people that we shouldn't be what or who is your model and why read second corinthians 10 verse 12 it would help us to realign ourselves so that we we are sure that we're not looking at someone who's wearing a mask we get some guidance in john chapter 5 verse 16. Oh, and in all of this breathe remember to be you remember to relax remember to unwind and i promise you there will be those who are not happy for the changes and they'll tell you that you've changed but listen just say to them yes we're supposed to you can't keep doing you can't do something different and expect to remain the same Remember that each journey has its peculiarities and pain is exclusive to no one. Everyone has pain. And you may not be the first or last, but yours is yours and your experience is your experience. So please embrace you. The next video you'll see is a feature which we've proposed for you to um, watch. Um, please enjoy it. Welcome to our channel. And don't forget to leave us your comments. Thank you.